Hi, I'm Daniel Foley from Foley Health and Fitness, and in this video I want to go over with you a three-part formula for helping to keep your joints feel great all the time. You know, this is one of the biggest things we see all the time. People just complaining about being chronically stiff and tight and muscle soreness, and maybe you just don't move well. You know, I want to show you a quick uh, three-step process that you can use to remedy that and to have joints that just feel great. Because we all know if your joints don't feel good, it zaps your energy, it's, it's hard on your mindset, it just zaps your mood, uh, it's hard to exercise, it's hard to get your body composition to be where you want it to be, all because your joints don't feel good. So if we can get your joints feeling better, it can have a huge impact on you having more abundant health, which is what we're really after. So let's talk about these three steps. So first, most important thing, muscles um, all they are are shock absorbers. They just open and close. They're just like shock absorbers. They open and close. And we've got to improve that ability to do that. And if we can do that, it has a huge impact on keeping your joints feeling great. So three-part process. Number one, work on the soft tissue. Sometimes those muscles get stuck closed and we've got to open them back up. Could be with a foam roller, could be with a massage stick, a lacrosse ball. You could get a massage, get your spouse to, you know, work on an area of your body. But work on getting the soft tissue opened up so that those muscles can open and close more effectively. You can Google uh, what is a foam roller and how to use it and type it into YouTube and you'll find videos of how to use a foam roller. I'm not going to go over all the ways to do that right here, but you can do that. Find ways to get the muscles open. Work on them. Get the soft tissue opened up. A lot of times if you're stretching a muscle and it's aggravating it and making your problem worse, it's a sign that you need to work on the soft tissue. So first one, soft tissue work. Get that done. Next one, stretch. So simple thing. I know it's a common um, common sense, right? Stretch your muscles to make them feel better. It's common sense, but it's not always common practice. So my question is, are you stretching on a regular basis? So every night before bed, maybe in the morning, working on getting your body opened up as you get your day started, but just stretching on a regular basis. Working on stretching and getting your body opened up for the day just can make a huge difference. Like I said, the muscles just open and close, and if they can't open, then your muscles are not going to feel good. Your joints are not going to feel good. So that's the second one. Third one. Exercise. Your muscles need to move to be healthy. They need to open and close. They need to be moving on a constant, everyday basis to be healthy because you get the lymphatic fluid going, you clear out a lot of the inflammation and a lot of the toxins out of the body. So your body needs to move on, a, on an everyday basis. Easiest way to do that, start with your body weight. You could walk, you can do body weight squats, you can do push-ups, you can do sit-ups. All basic stuff you can do, don't even need any equipment for that. Obviously, we'd love to help you uh, with any of our programs, but you don't even need any equipment to do that and to really get started. So here's a three-part process. Soft tissue, work on getting the muscles massaged and opened up, stretch them, and then we need to exercise them. That's it. Pretty simple. All things that you can do. I would love to hear you your feedback on this, you know, on Facebook or wherever you want to leave us comments. Leave us some comments. Let us know how this is working for you.